obviously we have one view, which is the show view, with you being the what the pool? Were you the pool boy? <laughs> but now I'm learning that you guys are friends. Friend. Like I'm learning that there's a friendship, right? That yeah. a lot of us don't know about. So you guys already knew one another. Right. How long did you know each other? Um, a year and a half. A year and a half. Mm-hmm. When did you guys decide, you know what, this is my person? When did you decide, this is my person? Right, because it really starts with a woman, doesn't it? Um, I really made the decision that I wanted to be with my friend. It's kind of hard to talk about without talking about it. So I guess I'm just going to have to dive into it. Go ahead, um, baby, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ugly. Um, my ex-husband... He was not coming home at the end of the marriage. Um, He was just going out without his ring. You know, he was leaving, you know, a lot of signs that he wasn't into the marriage anymore out of nowhere. I mean, one day it was, my marriage was perfect. And then the next day it just wasn't. I want to talk about that because obviously we have. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Jalen and Fallon speaking. Let me know how you feel about who allegedly her husband was with. I would, and many people would say it's an interesting situation. We know who her ex-husband is with. He's with Portia. Many people will award bad behavior versus rewarding respectful, kind behavior. Of course, as her husband is out cheating, she then decided to date someone else, someone that's loving, kind, someone that is respectful, someone that's going to be good to her and her children. When you, we speak about healthy relationships, when you uh, take someone's mate or husband, he will then choose to, at some point, allegedly maybe cheat on you next. And you're always keeping your eye open. What's he doing? Many of my friends would never live in that situation. A lot of us don't check phones. We don't, if if there's not trust issues, we won't even deal with it. We'll rather not be in that situation. And that's a powerful thing to let someone know. I will not put up with cheating, lying, or disrespect. So um, many people would say they'd rather be in Fallon and Jalen's situation because they can walk with their heads up and be okay with um, being together. Uh, sometimes Portia puts a Band-Aid over it saying, well, now there's a baby here. Well, there was a baby here because you, allegedly you were sneaking behind your castmates back with her husband. Um, I will not be tuning in if she has a marriage show. I will not be tuning in if she is back on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't watch it now. I'll watch different clips. But um, many people will say reward for bad behavior versus good behavior. But... Many parents would rather be respectful and be seen as respectful than disrespectful because at some point your children become adults and then they have to see how you're perceived in the media, in the industry, and how, how you're perceived as a person. So, of course, sometimes people separate. They weren't separated. Sometimes people are going through divorce and they're living in separate homes for a year or two. That wasn't their situation. Sometimes people are in different states and they're separated and getting divorced. That didn't happen in the situation. So here are there. Well wishes to Jalen and Fallon for constantly walking in grace and being graceful people. She's told her truth. Many people, like I said, would rather be in Fallon's situation and Jalen's situation because Jalen seems like an amazing guy. Loving, kind, respectful loving to his children. I mean, he's there with the children. As you see, Portia is raising her daughter with Simon and every now and then she has her his children. You see the difference? Jalen came into a situation loving and supporting her children. Portia, his Simon's children, allegedly is outside the home most of the time. So here nor there, well wishes we're not in their homes we don't know these people but we do see what's happening if the real housewives of Atlanta decides to give Portia another chance which it seems like she has already with the whatever that girl's trip thing is and or she comes back to real housewives of Atlanta and this is the one thing that you have to realize those producers want money 
Those producers want bigger homes. Those producers want more cars. Those producers want to put their children in school. So for these real housewives to get on TV, embarrass themselves, make disrespectful comments, yell, scream. A lot of people say Portia's one of the most alleged violent people on TV. And I've seen a lot of things. Allegedly, the last time she was on television, she put her ex down. She put her ex-mother-in-law down. She allegedly was throwing plates. She allegedly hit a producer in the face. So if companies want to promote bad behavior, I'm not a part of it. I don't want to watch it. If companies want to promote someone that's um, attacking people, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to be a part of it. If companies want to show you that you can allegedly take your co-worker's husband and you want, I'm not, I don't want to be a part of that. So well wishes to Fallon and Jalen. Many blessings for years to come. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe.